going on YouTube? Dust Lavas here. Probably my last video before my car goes in for its Pro Charger, which is tomorrow morning, actually. Um, I just want to do the uh, last couple of pulls at this naturally aspirated 6,000 feet of elevation here. Uh, the topic is, should I launch an all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? Stay tuned. So I'm using my taser to force the vehicle into all-wheel drive or force the vehicle into rear-wheel drive. And then I'm also using the traction control um, in the off position. That way uh, there's not any interference with the uh, engine or the computer trying to throttle back to make sure that there's no handling issues. So first run is going to be rear-wheel drive, second run will be all-wheel drive. 0-60 to 60, rear wheel drive. Launching an all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive under stock power has no effect. I'm sure that if you're pushing a lot more power, uh, it can help you, but stock, RT, no, it's not going to do anything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video here before I drop the charger off in the morning to get its Pro Charger installed. So uh, stay tuned because uh, the next few videos are going to be the install of the Pro Charger. Catch you next time.